I heard the Lord say, I am bringing the hidden things into the light. The things that have been attempted to hinder you are being and about to be exposed, and you will move into a new level of divine insight, wisdom, and discernment. Hello Saints, this is Brother Brian, Love Has a Name YouTube channel, and what I just read to you was the title of the prophetic word we are going to go through today. This prophetic word was given from the Lord to Prophetess Lana Vasser from Australia. This prophetic word is dated May 16th, 2024, and I encourage you to look in the description to see how you can connect with Lana Vasser's ministry and learn more about it. Just before we begin this word, please go ahead and hit that like. Make sure you smash the subscribe button and leave a comment or two down below. I appreciate your free support. And if you are led to, please consider becoming a member of this channel and supporting the content that I bring to you almost daily. Check out the join button under the video to see what that is all about. Let us begin. Father, we come before you and thank you for this word we're about to receive. We open our hearts and choose to believe. For you said that it is impossible to please you without faith. So we choose to believe. We receive your words by faith and we thank you for speaking to us through so many of your wonderful prophets, prophetic people, and vessels. We give you all the glory, Lord. Change us, transform us, empower us. In Jesus' name, amen. The prophetic word begins like this. Recently, I heard the Lord speaking over many. I am bringing the hidden things into the light. The things that have attempted to hinder you are being and about to be exposed, and you will move into a new level of divine insight, wisdom, and discernment. I then began to see many in the body of Christ who had felt like they were being hit in many directions. There was so much warfare that they were enduring in this war season that I saw many begin to lose their peace. There were many that were coming to the end of their strength in the battles they were facing, and many were feeling like they were playing whack-a-mole in their lives with things that were coming against them. I then began to see that the Lord was bringing hidden things in the light. This is happening on a personal scale, on a large scale in his church and on a global scale. In this encounter, the Lord focused my vision. He focused my vision in upon these ones that have been exceptionally wearied from this continual battle time. As the Lord was bringing things into the light, things were being dealt with and exposed. There was an increase of fire upon hearts to deal with landing places in the heart where the enemy had access. But I also saw the Lord dealing with the area of double-mindedness in the hearts of many. See James chapter 1 verses 7 through 8. Lana then says, In this hour, God is bringing areas of unbelief and double-mindedness into the light for repentance. And there are many doors that the enemy has been using through double-mindedness. They are suddenly being closed. Wow. Praise God. Saints, I'm just going to insert this thought here. The Lord is speaking that those who have been blinded for so long, whether by religion or whether by what is going on in the political warfare and everything that is going on, not only in the nation of America, but Canada, in Europe, Africa, Australia, 
the Middle East, and so forth. The Lord is saying that double-mindedness of people being as waves in the sea, as the book of James says, not being able to decide, not be able, being able to discern, the Lord is doing something, and he's going to help them see. So they may repent, and they may adhere and yield to his truth and what he has been saying and showing all along. Praise God. Let's continue with the prophetic word. As the Lord continued to bring things into the light, I heard him say, Pay attention to your discernment. Do not doubt your discernment. There is a very strong call from the Lord right now to pay attention to that which he is revealing and speaking and uncovering. As the Lord is bringing things into the light, he is bringing with it divine strategy and walking out that which he is speaking. It is very important right now to pay attention to alignments and to where the Lord is leading. It is easy to get caught up in not understanding or trying to reason it out in the natural. But I felt the Lord strongly say, do not doubt your discernment. Follow my lead and strategy. For in that place, I am leading you out of wrong alignments, leading you into new things that I have for you, and into new assignments before you. My people, lean in deeply and listen. I am calling you deeper into my word and deeper into listening to my voice. For you cannot now give your ear to anything else but my voice. For in this hour, it is imperative that you are following my voice wherever and however I lead you. For you must be deep within my word. For in my word, I am going to give you divine insight and strategy that is going to accelerate you into a whole new level of wisdom, divine strategy and discernment. For the enemy has come against many of you and told you that you are wrong, that you have heard wrong, that you're in the wrong place, that what you have seen is wrong and cause you to feel like you are living in a constant, perpetual state of swirling confusion. But that confusion is being broken off in this hour. And the assignment against your insight and clarity is being lifted off. Remain in my word. Arise and ascend, my people, for I am teaching you and training you in this hour, and you must pay attention. For I am teaching you how to govern and live from your seat. It is time for you to arise and live from the place where you are seated. Saints, let me pause right there. The Lord is speaking about being seated in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. This is what he means. Seated with Christ in heavenly places. From this place of rest, he wants us to learn to govern, to reign, to rule with the authority Jesus has given us. We cannot be those wishy-washy, carnal Christians living off of spiritual milk attacking the body instead of standing against darkness. We cannot be immature anymore. Now, let's continue with the prophetic word. God says, many of you have been living under what the enemy has placed upon you or tried to place upon you, and he has been looking for your agreement. Listen to me, my people. As you remain close to me, deep in my word, I am giving you insight and revelation, such deep strategy and divine intel 
in this hour that as you trust and decide to agree with that which I am speaking, it will cause you to live from the high place. You must not align and decide with the natural mind. You must lay down human reasoning in this hour and the need to understand and follow my voice. I am bringing clarity to you in this hour to areas where you have been living below all I have for you. And I am calling you into a place of accelerated ascension as you align with the truth of my word, my insight, and my wisdom. The time is upon you, where you must truly decide whether you will follow what you understand, or where I am leading, and what I am saying and revealing. You have lived under for too long. It's time for you to live above. See Ephesians chapter 2 verse 6. Now saints, we're about to jump into the last section of this encouraging prophetic word. If you haven't typed any prophetic decree down below or, or highlighted anything that stood out to you, now would be a good time. You can actually type in, it's time to live from above. Maybe some, some of you want to type in this. I will rule from my seat in Christ Jesus. Praise God. All right, let's move into the final section of this powerful prophetic word. For I have seen many are remaining in alignments in places that I am calling you out of, says God. To please man, you are doing this. And I say unto you, you must lay down the people-pleasing ways and arise in obedience to where I am leading. For there are new assignments that I have for you in this hour and new things that I am wanting to build and release through you that are being hindered by your remaining in the people-pleasing ways. Arise and ascend in trust and obedience to me and see where I am leading you into a greater place of governing in my kingdom in this hour. For while you hold onto alignments to please man, you hinder the pathways I have set before you in this hour. Wow, saints, that is the prophetic word. This is what the Lord wanted you to hear tonight. I pray that this has blessed you. I pray that you are encouraged. Make sure you leave a comment down below and let me know which part spoke to you the most. I bless you in the name of Jesus. Don't forget to like, subscribe to this channel if you're not already subscribed, and check out that join button if you would like to partner and become a member of this channel, supporting it in another way. I love you all. Check out Lana Bosser's information down below. And I will see you in the next prophetic video. Bye-bye.